I'm Carol Stahl from Douglas Selman with my tips on how to sell an apartment with flaws. Not all flaws are perceived as equal in the eyes of buyers. When I market my clients' homes, I turn the quirks and objections into positives with the right spin and the right price. Example 1. 14A at 1049 Fifth Avenue is a pre-war three-bedroom, three-and-a-half bath condo with a library and two wrapped terraces. Many buyers came to see 14A, however, they passed on making offers due to the low ceilings. I had my top contractor come to assess the situation, and he confirmed that the ceilings, in fact, could be raised, problem solved. Another hindrance to this sale was the white brick co-op that partially blocked the Central Park views. My solution was to focus the buyer attention on the rarity of the terraces in the building and how they make 14A feel just like a penthouse. As a result, multiple bids were obtained, which resulted in an all-cash offer that closed in 60 days. Example 2. 515 East 72nd Street, 35D, is a listing I took over after it failed to sell previously. 35D is a renovated three-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath corner condo with two terraces, views of the East River, as well as stunning views of iconic Midtown Towers from every room. The building is so amenity-rich, even has its own large private lawn that makes it feel just like a country club. However, buyers seem to focus time and time again on its one flaw that could not be remedied, the standard eight-foot ceilings. I focus buyers' attention on the views, the outdoor space, and the fabulous building amenities. As a result, multiple offers were received and the sales price just shy of the asking price was achieved. Tip number one is to focus on the positive. If your apartment faces brick walls, as one of my listings did recently, then focus, for example, on its new renovation or its excellent location. Great staging and high quality photos help tremendously. Also try to show at specific times of day when the space receives the best light. Tip number two, price correctly. Correct pricing from the start is crucial, especially in markets where listings take longer to sell and listing discounts are steeper. Tip number three, watch for neighborhood trends. Are you selling in a neighborhood where there is a growing share of new developments or new amenities in the area? These could be very attractive selling points to a potential buyer. Tip number four, all flaws can be mitigated in some way with the right amount of benefits and the right price. Your broker needs to highlight those benefits and target the right buyers when marketing your apartment. These examples and tips will help you and your broker sell your apartment should you be faced with flaws or obstacles. Be sure to watch my other tips on buying and selling Manhattan real estate at carolstahl.com.